And the guy just came along and stripped it. No need for it whatsoever. What's going on guys welcome to this video and welcome back to my channel you are watching explore beyond there'll be links down below for all my social media accounts for anybody that wants to go follow me on them so a few weeks ago me and a friend of mine we were driving around this particular area looking for what we thought was the famous nova house so a recent story behind this property the location was given to a guy who said he was into classic cars and and, and basically just looking around these old old cars it turns out he actually he actually wanted the location so he could go and take parts from this car and sell them on eBay and Facebook Marketplace and things like that. So the location was passed to this guy and he then completely stripped this Vauxhall Nova that was left at this house. So me and my friend, we finally found the place with just a little bit of help. So here's the video, hope you enjoy. Starting off, we're just in this, it's almost like a small utility room. I like this uh, little partition in the middle of the room, it looks really cool. This thing guys, I'm not entirely sure what it's for. Molly grater? No idea. Anybody knows? UK patent? I'm assuming it's some sort of, I'd, I'd like to say kitchen utensil. I have no idea guys. I think this bit at the bottom should be inside that bit by the looks of it. That's really cool. Nice whatever it is. Been moving on in these rooms. These newspapers guys, they all got 1969. I've seen one 1959. I think this one here. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually 1969. Yeah, 1969. It's not in bad condition considering it's so old. Normally when you see newspapers in houses like this, they're always ripped up and damp and what have you, but I think the whole place isn't that damp to be fair. I'm not entirely sure when this place was last lived in, but this section of the house was, was plastered at some point. Anybody remember this shop? Osram Music Magnet. Okay. I've no idea what a music magnet is. It's a nice box. Plenty of sewing bits in here. Buttons. It's brand new. Brand new um, reel of string, cotton, whatever you want to call it. Bismarck tablets, indigestion, flatulence, stomach acid. I feel like this was early 90s and it was last lived in. Look at the old cookie guys. Oh my word, look at that spider. A dead spider, it's still a spider. former occupants of the house maybe I like this effect piece of wood underneath 
looks really cool. That picture is starting to go backwards, like bowing. But there's a hole in the window, so I'm wondering if it's damp on the other side, but if you can see on the glass, there's actually the imprint of whatever it is on her neck. Merry Christmas. A little pierce. It's like a little coin pierce. Going around to this room guys and there's pretty much nothing in here. I do like looking at these old windows though. Not a bad view outside. Looks like you're looking into a reptile tank or something. No, it doesn't work. A stinky old bathroom. Immersion eater. These pipes, guys. Yeah, the pipes don't look too old. The immersion eater looks very old. I don't think they're even made like that anymore. I'm sure ours wasn't like that. I used to be scared of ours when I was a kid. So we used to have one in our old house. Well, in, in, not in our old house, it's my mum and dad's house. And they've got a uh, gas central heating now, but when I was a kid, we had an immersion eater like this and we had a coal fire. And I was always scared of the immersion eater. It had this red jacket around it to keep the heat in. I think it was the same like copper with this foamy stuff around it. But when I used to open the door and see it, it used to scare me. I, I don't know why. This in here, guys, is one of the. I'd say it's one of the nicer parts of the houses. There's plenty of history in here. So the person seems like they collected these stamps. I've got a massive collection of stamps. Some really cool ones in here. I think they're just, they aren't all stamps. They're just little, little bits they've cut out of books and magazines and newspapers. I suppose like back in them days, this is, this is how people, you know, they do collected things like this, which wouldn't happen anymore, but that's how it was done back then. Like a wedding photo. It'll zoom in. There we go. Some more wedding pictures here. Twenty nine. That could be 1920s. The Ghost Train. I think I used to have that book, you know. Not the same, but same story. Does that say 6648? 6648. That's not a date. I don't know what that is. Cane reads. Musical instrument. No idea. Wow, that's a small pencil. Look at that. That's a very large mug. The size of it compared to my foot. Just turn the light back on, guys. We have a, a violin stand down there. They've got a lot of violin and there's a lot of music books, music notes over there. So this must have been a violinist living here. It looks like a bed just behind there. Maybe these units don't actually belong in here, who knows. Definitely like collecting papers. Lots and lots of paper. I can't actually say as I've seen this place covered that many times. I've seen a few photos. I can't say as I've seen a video. I will double check that before I post. 
but I don't think I've seen any videos of this place and you'd know if it was the same place because there's a, a Vauxhall Nova outside and sadly um, a few well, a few months back now a guy came and stripped the car took loads of bits off it and it was posted by a guy who then gave the location to this guy thinking he was an explorer which is something that we don't do unless you trust somebody so this guy passed the location to this other guy who then came along one night and took loads of bits off the car and then cheekily tried to sell it all on Facebook when it kind of backfired on him when people started seeing the ads but this is why People are very reluctant to give locations out, me being one of them. Lots of little trinkets in this house. I don't know if it was the kind of person that would just save little bits because they might come in handy, which I'm a little bit like that myself, if I'm honest. I will save little things that I've not got use for at the time because one day in the future you might think, oh, I need something, and you've got it in, in the shadow of you. But there's lots of tins that's been opened up, and there's lots of little bits inside. little tin there. See what I mean about these little little trinkets. I suppose I could just pop my camera up there. I don't know if there's anything going on. This wallpaper reminds me of um I don't think it's the same but it reminds me of the shining. The, the, the room and the the landing with the, the, the red carpet. This this wallpaper sort of reminds me of that kind of theme. See how the whole glass has slipped down. The whole, the whole uh, pane of glass has fell. I'm assuming that the uh, the outside glue has, has you know eroded away. And catch me opening this window. You see the state of that. Oh my god. Nope. So here's the the Nova guys. I was telling you about earlier. So when this place, when I first saw this place, this was all complete solid car. I don't think the window was smashed either. Um, the lights were on. The bump, the uh, the boot lead was on. And the guy just came along and stripped it. No need for it whatsoever. I don't know what else he took. I don't know if there was a steering wheel, dashboard, etc. There's a tax disc down there, so if we check that out, we might have a good idea as to when it was last taxed to see when the place was last, you know, ever, ever used. Big shame that is. Even took all the front off as well, front lights, etc. Looks like someone, whether it be him or somebody else, has drained the oil out of it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dream of doing it guys, I just can't understand, like, maybe it's just me, but, I couldn't imagine, what is that, a tractor, it's a tractor innit, it's got no wheels on but it's got like, some sort of, chassis, that is definitely a tractor, so the entrance must be back down there as well. 
might be worth walking around the whole garage to see. So I'm going to go try have a look at that tax desk. There we go, we can actually try and zoom in right there. It says 01, so 2001, which is almost 20 years ago. So it ain't that long since it's been lived in. I can't even get past here. Not with my backpack. My backpack's way too big. It's a boat, guys, there's a boat. We're going to have to go and check it out at all costs. There's an actual boat around there, and this ain't the first boat I've come across on my travels. It's like the third, maybe fourth. Oh, no way, guys. Full on boat. Okay, yes, yeah, so all right, and here's a few bits stutting about. Lots of dust there. Should have a mask on, really. See the woodcutter. Massive blade. Another cooker. I like these boxes. Very vintage looking. Here guys, we have this, it's actually in quite good condition, it's wooden, wooden rowing boat, nice. Oh no, it's, it's, uh, it's got, must have a motor on, there's a steering wheel here, so it must have a, uh, a what's it on the back, a, um, one of them. I forget what it's called, off the top of my head right now. You can see around here, that boat's amazing guys, look at the size of it. It's a massive thing. You could fit about, you could fit five people in that easily. Easily. This ain't the easiest shed I've ever walked around. Not by a long shot. <laughs> it's full of stuff. Another bed there. If it is a bed, that is. Just walking here into the complete unknown, guys. Look at that massive caravan. Ginormous caravan. One thing I've discovered as I've come around the back of the building, uh, there's a tyre down here, it's got the white wall on, see? I can't say, apart from ones that have been painted themselves, that I've ever seen a genuine white wall tyre. I know the story behind these, I believe it's true what I know is because the black was added to the mix when they were making tyres and what it did is it gave the, it more grip for the road but the white, the reason that the white walls is because they didn't paint the outside of the tyre because it didn't need to be painted black, the grip, so it was left white and that's why all the old fashioned cars and even now on like hot rods that are meant to look from like the 1920s, 1930s have all got that white wall. I think it looks amazing personally, I think it looks awesome. I've come around the back of here guys, it's not really that safe. There's nowhere to go. Some tank here, fuel tank. I don't know if it's from a, an old motorbike or maybe a tractor or something. It's cool though, it's quite big. Tractor tyre there, just see it poking out. We're well, now around the front of the house. It's a lot better of a forest around here. Trees like this, plenty of thorns. Plenty of nettles. Nettles on a, on a sunburn back. It's not nice. And if I'm down there, 
Uh, it comes to an end, you get the over the arch bit. This is the front garden, guys. I suppose it was nice back in the day. Really nice house. I like this house. Nice location. Nice. Nice size house. Not the biggest. It's definitely not the smallest. Look at them things. Tell you what. If you got stung by one of them, you'd certainly know. Jesus Christ. They're all one as well. What the hell is that even for? Looks like a dead part there. It was so high up as well. And I often ask myself, you know, why do we need things like that in the world? What does that do? What does it what purpose does that thing hold? Why why do we need to have a world? with things like this in. Nettles are bad enough, never mind this thing. Looks pretty though. Caravan wasn't really accessible, the floor was all caved in and we've pretty much covered what's inside the sheds. Um, there's not really a lot getting in there. I was hoping to be another car, I mean, the Nova became famous, obviously because of this guy stealing from here. But yeah, it's a nice little place we've covered, I quite enjoyed the little explore around here. Loads of little bits inside, some nice things to look at. Yesterday I was finishing my shed base off and the sun was like, it was like 33 degrees and my back is red raw. So with having this vest on today and my backpack's rubbing on my back, it's absolutely killing me, I can't wait to take it off. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on social media. As always, I'll post links down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. When I was a kid, we had animation to like this and we had a coal fire. And I was always scared of the animation so I had this red jacket around it to keep the heat in. I think it was the same like copper with this foamy stuff around it. But when I used to open the door and see it, it used to scare me. I don't know why.